Hello. The past three months have been anything but ordinary. If you're anything like me, you have been following the COVID-19 news and the world situation update on a daily basis. Wouldn't have been nice to build your own geographical heat map in Excel using the data provided by the World Health Organization? In this video, I will show you step by step how you can uh, find the data, create the dashboard and make a heat map with COVID-19 data. Let's start with getting the data for our dashboard. So going on the website of the World Health Organization and navigating to the dashboard. Once we see the dashboard at the right lower corner, there is a download map data option. So you click there and you will download the CSV file. Let's open the CSV file. We have uh, all the dates reported since each of the country reported their first case. Uh, we have a country codes, name, region, new cases, cumulative cases, new deaths and cumulative deaths. We're going to uh, filter and select the last date we want to use. We don't need all of the dates. We'll use July 3rd. And now copy and paste in our file. Now that we have the data pasted in our table, uh, we have to uh, find the adding that we're going to use to create the map. So uh, you need to have the developer tab displayed. If it haven't, hasn't been displayed, right click on the ribbon and select customize the ribbon and then make sure that developer tab is clicked okay and once you open developer tab you select add in option over here uh, for the first time you'll have to go to the store once you've used it it will show up in your add-in but uh, going to the store you search map and the second option is the one that we're going to use so let's click add uh, we agree with the license terms, continue, and this is where we're going to build our first map. Let's open it. Please make sure on your own to check the country code workbook. So uh, whatever the country codes and country names are has to be used in your data as well in order for the map to work properly. So let's get started. Uh, we have two options for USA uh, states or world country uh, map. So we're going to use the world country map. Next thing, we're going to select the data. So um, clicking and selecting all of the data we have in our table. Okay, getting back. Uh, we can use for regions country code or country name. Let's this time use country code. I'll leave it to you to uh, check both of them, which one is better, but I believe they should be both working the same. Uh, the value we are going to use is going to be the new cases reported uh, today, and we can change it to other uh, cases or the deaths uh, later. So selecting the color theme, we're not going to use red to green or green to red. This is uh, pre-selected here, but we're going to use custom. And by using custom, we need to define the background color. Uh, in this case, I'm selecting white and the minimum value color will be blue. Uh, the medium will be darker blue and uh, the darkest one let's select this guy and let's uh, type the title of our map and it will be new COVID-19 cases and then July 3rd 2020 
I'm not going to use the label because it becomes very uh, overcrowded on, on the map, but you can play around and see if it works for you. Uh, we're going to display the legend. Let's use bottom. Uh, we'll check right on the right later. And this is our first map. Let's cut and move it to our dashboard spreadsheet. Now that we have it, you can extend and make it bigger. You can use the zoom to zoom on certain country. And when you uh, hover, you will see the label and how many cases uh, reported for this particular day, date that we are looking at. With the minus, you're zooming out. Selecting the whole map, it's very tricky. On the top, we can copy and paste a new one. And by pasting, we are going to use uh, this map for the total COVID cases or cumulative. So clicking on the settings, we're going to change certain things. So selecting the value of cumulative cases, then we'll change the, the colors to green. over here and then we'll type cumulative and we'll leave the legend at the bottom so now we have this is the total cases since uh, the first reported until now let's paste our third map and move on to the right and change the setting to uh, the new deaths. And now we are going to use grayscale. Changing the title and let's select right for the legend. And that's how it looks, the newly reported deaths in different countries. And our last map, we'll paste again the very first one and click setting. Uh, country codes remain, but we will select cumulative deaths. And now let's change this to red color and say cumulative again we can select right this time and that's our total reported that's uh, on a global scale of COVID-19 cases this technique and this map can be used for uh, different purposes. If you have a data um, of your subscribers or customers or something else that you want to show on the global map, you can use it. Uh, it's very easy to update. Um, for example, if you uh, download the data for a different um, day in future, you can easily uh, substitute this data and uh, the dashboard will be updated automatically, dynamically. So it's very easy to maintain if you have it on different uh, day. Hope this was helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you again. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.